Hi, this screencast is going to walk through building forms and using templates. My name is Jacob Rockowitz. I'm known as Jay Rockowitz on the web. I'm a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the web form module for Drupal 8. So what's a form? A form is a collection of elements, inputs, composites, containers, and pages that are used to collect a submission. So an element is anything that is displayed on a form or on a page. So anything in Drupal could be considered an element when it's rendered. And we're specifically in the Webform module focusing on inputs, which are elements, and it's an element that collects a value. And the Webform module also introduces this concept of composites, which is a collection of inputs used to collect a group of values. A simple example would be like an address element, where you're collecting the street, city, state, zip code. Um, Another concept in the web format is, you know, there's containers like a details element or a field set to, to hold a group of sub-elements together. Sometimes a container could just be a div. Um, it makes it a little easier to move it around, add conditional logic. And finally, there are pages. So when you're building a multi-step wizard, you would create pages. And those are, those are containers that are used as pages within multi-step form. So there are many different types of elements. This is kind of just showing you the categorization that's broken down. There's basic, advanced, composites, markup. We'll walk through these in a second. Um, how do you manage and you know filter forms? And actually, that's what we're really focusing on, on the form side of things. Elements we're going to come back to a little bit, but you know the web form manager is makes it easy for you to see all your forms, search by title description, or even element types that you're using. You can do filter by category, so you can give categories to your forms or the state of the form. Um, you can also use you know, title auto-completion, which I'm just going to have to show you, which would quickly jump to any form. And when you're doing it, this is an important little nuance, is like when you're managing forms, there's two drop-down menus. One to look, they're op called also operations. There's a submissions menu to look at your results, download and you know, even to clear them. And then there's a building operations menu, that's your form builder. How are you building the form? What do you even to go delete it? Um, so this is the form manager. You know, you can see the contact form and the, that's the submissions in the build. Um, actually, it's it's easier to just start demoing it to you. So we're here. So this is a filter by category. So we only have two. We have the demo and we have an example. And then these are whether it's open, closed, or if it's scheduled to be open or closed, because that's a feature in the web form module. And these are the menus just to jump through. Um, you get all the options. What I also, I think the one that's really important is this, is you can do an autocomplete and quickly jump to your forms. Boom. Very quick way when you know what the forms are. So, and you can collapse this. I'm going to move ahead. And now let's talk about templates. So templates are forms that can be copied to create new forms. In the admin UI that I just showed you, you can duplicate a form, but this is a way for you to take a certain forms and say, I want this form to be used as a template and duplicated. And templates are reusable. It, it's important to say a form created from a template is a copy. So once it's created, it goes off on its own. So you can always go back in and tweak and improve your templates, and it won't affect any forms created from it. And that's the next part, is changing or deleting a template doesn't change existing forms. And this is the UI for a template. It's just a simple dialog that gives you a little preview of the form, and you can select it. You can close it and skip it. And the demo is pretty simple for this, because I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click Templates. You can see I've got a couple examples. I, I like just showing people like a job application, so you can preview it. And just this gives you, in the admin UI, the, the idea of what the fields are. How, what type of data is collecting. These are also good examples. You know, this has some, some conditional logic to let someone upload a resume or paste their resume. I'm going to close it. Not much more to it. If you select it, you'll get a little dialog that'll let you rename it um, and figure out, you know, come up with a custom name for it. You will have to generate a unique machine name. I'm going to close this, and we're going to keep going. So how do you build web forms? Well, the web form UI provides a simple drag and drop form builder that displays an overview of a web form's elements, containers, and pages. And this is the web form builder, and you can add or remove elements to it. Um, and I think before I even show it to you, it's very important that the you know in the background the web form elements are stored as YAML, and this is the raw YAML behind a simple contact form. It's the same form that we're looking at in the UI right now. And it allows you to edit the source behind the form. It's a very powerful feature. And, you know, this is the source editor. So this lets you get into the YAML. It has validation. It checks that, you know, the YAML is valid, that the form will render properly. I'm going to just demo it. And I, I like, you know, for this demo, 
instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to just take the feedback form. I'm going to, here, let's preview it. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit save. And I've just gotten over, and it's going to go right into the form builder. And now we have the form builder. We can edit our elements. You can add new elements. Uh, what's a good example? Here, let's, let's do a file upload for this. So I'm going to go to file and say we want to let someone attach a document. Or no, let, let them attach a screenshot. Hit here. Say image. Just this is a little demo of, you know, here I've added an image if someone wants to upload it. It's optional. You can go into the source and look at the source and learn. It's just a very simple image file that's being uploaded. And you could set file size limits and even the file extensions. Uh, that's just a very quick demo of, you know, the form builder and the experience. So using the source, it's really important. I just emphasize it. It's, it's a really powerful feature for advanced users because they can alter all the labels really quickly. You can cut and paste multiple elements in. You can reorder. You can also get into real custom properties and markups and nuances that you can tweak a form with. Um, so there's another kind of concept with these forms. As you're building them out, you're going to want to test them. And the web form module provides an API, you know, with develop generate support and to quickly test a web form using customizable data. So it comes with default Latin text, but you can go and cuss that, change that data set and have any values you want. And you can generate a thousand submissions really quickly just to kind of see how your form works, test a few concepts. And just a few more tips for testing. Um, the, the mail log, mail developer module is really useful for, for preventing emails from being sent out on your dev servers. So you can look at the email before it's sent and it never goes out, you can log it. Um, each submission has a resend tab, so you can go in and when you create a test submission, you can look at the emails without having to keep resending them. You can just kind of debug them. And every handler that's the, like, for example, an email is sent using a handler supports debugging. And that makes it easy to look at the data. So it makes it easy to understand what's going on, figure out if data is missing, what's kind of wrong. This is a screenshot of the mail log module. It's really simple, very simple module. Um, Easy to set up. I, I use it on most of my sites now. Um, I'm going to walk into just testing because we just created this form. So it's really easy to say, hey, this is what a test is. So you can go in here and it'll just fill it out, which is nice because it fills it out and gives you an idea. And this is a really kind of advanced feature where it actually will test all your file uploads and it supports every possible file extension imaginable and it'll give you a sample image. Um, and, you know, for example, this is just a, a demo of a, a camera. And you can click Submit and see how it works and make sure the validation's working, all the behaviors are working. You can go back. And this, if you wanted to generate 50 submissions. And this is useful, especially like if you're using views or you want to just show someone, okay, this is how you manage the data. Here's an example of you know, a fully populated submission table. I'm going to move on. And, you know, some exercises, like when... To get more familiar, you should create a new form from scratch. Add some element. Duplicate the contact form. Create it. You can even take that contact form and convert it to a template, which I'll even just quickly show you that setting, where if you go into settings, the checkbox. Allow this web form to be used as a template. By the way, you should be exploring the web form module to learn all these things and get more familiar with these features. Um, finally, you know, Add elements to a web form using the source mode. It'll just help you get more comfortable with what's going on in the, underneath the hood of the UI. Finally, you can learn more about me, jrockwoods.com. Thank you.